Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday night. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and film this intro. I don't know if I'm gonna post this. Basically, I am going to attempt my first stockpile sale tomorrow. So I thought I would just film it because if it goes well, I'll post this video. I don't know. I'm like kind of scared nobody's gonna show up. Basically, let me give you a little background on why I'm even doing this. You guys are probably pretty familiar with this stockpile. Um, it's a pretty big size. Definitely more than what I would say my family really uses. And you guys know that I do a lot of deals myself because I'm sharing them online and I also like give away a lot and stuff, but lately I've just really been feeling like this is too big. I don't like it. There's some things that I have in here that we don't even really use, like certain brands of shampoo that I don't even use. You guys know I love Dove Body Wash. That's my favorite and we coupon for it all the time. So like why do I have all these other brands of body wash, you know what I mean? So I just want to kind of downsize a little bit, get rid of some stuff and just keep the things that we're actually going to use and the brands that we love. I also low-key want to get rid of these shelves because I just think that they're too dark for the decor that I have going on in this room. I mean like all the other furniture in this room is white. My desk is white. The rug down here is white. Like everything is like a white and gray vibe. And these shelves are just too dark. You know what I mean? This is my filming room. So lighting is very important. And white is very reflective and it kind of brightens things up. I'm also working in a room with one tiny window. So I don't get very much light in here to begin with. So I think I'm going to replace these with white shelves and I'm only gonna get like a couple of them, so I need to downsize this stockpile in like half. So that is why I am going to do this, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna start pulling stuff off the shelves and just like putting them in bins so that they're ready to take out in the morning because we already have our table set up out there and I'm not gonna be like individually pricing things. I'm just gonna put stuff on tables and then have signs taped saying like how much everything is. So like all of the cheap body washes and shampoos will just be a dollar, all toothpaste will be a dollar, stuff like that. So let's get started, I guess. Okay, I started pulling stuff out and putting it in boxes. Oh, this is gonna take a lot of work. Oh, here you are. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the back Okay, we are getting there. We got most of the stuff out. So I'll just kind of show you what all we got and like how I'm pricing things. So first of all, we just have a bunch of feminine care pads and liners for a dollar. Then over here, I have these um, like renews it things. I'm not sure. I'll probably do like 25 cents on these or something. Then on this table right here, I just have a box full of lotion and everything in here is $2 except I'm gonna pull these out because I think these are only gonna be a dollar for the Vaseline, but everything else will be $2. All the deodorant's gonna be $2. My husband is getting a sign ready to tape right here. Then we have all the body wash. So I have the prices listed on the sign right here. So all the Olay Nivea Dove will be $3. Soft Soap and Dial will be a dollar. Axis, $2. Old Spice and Dove are $3. And Irish Spring is only a dollar. Then we have shampoo which is just a dollar each unless otherwise marked. So I need to put stickers on the more expensive brands. I think I'm gonna do $3 for these, but everything else will just be a dollar each because I need to get rid of it. 
Then we have laundry products. I'm selling all my pods because we mainly use liquid. So I'm doing $3 for the small tight and gain, $6 for the large ones, and then the all brand is just going to be $2 each. I'm selling all of the all. <laughs> Then softener, they're all $2 except for these. Suavitel back here for a dollar. We got some scent shakes. 50 cents on the small palm olives. I think he forgot to mark these. These are going to be a $1.50. dollar for a little pine saw. $2 on the dryer sheets. A dollar for the bigger dish soaps. $1.00 for Febreze. For the razors, I'm doing $4 for the non-disposables and $2 for the disposables back there. And I just kind of have them organized in these totes, so all the regular razors are here and the disposables are in the back. I'm hoping those sell. I have so many razors. For the warmers, I'm doing $1 or 50 cents if it's just the warmer by itself. Mouthwash, I'm doing $1 for the small ones and $2 for the big ones. Then hubby's putting up a sign. <laughs> For the shaving cream and hand soap, those are going to be a dollar each. Then all the makeup in this bin is going to be 50 cents, except for these more expensive mascaras, they'll be two dollars. Makeup wipes are going to be a dollar. I have some skincare out here, which these are kind of more pricey, so I have these at like five ish dollars or three for the cleansers. Then I have a few packs of diapers, so we're going to do like three and four dollars on those. Oh, I have my toothpaste sign blocked. I probably need to move the diapers. Um, but all toothpaste is just a dollar because we get it for free or we get paid to take it. And that is pretty much all the stockpile stuff. I also have some kids clothes I'm going to be setting out, but that's everything from the stockpile. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, it is about two o'clock, so we're like five hours in. We're having like a slow period right now, so I thought I would give you guys an update. I sold almost all of my feminine care, which is exciting. Someone came and bought like a whole box, so I just said 20 for the whole box, and then I think a couple other people came and took a bunch, so I'm literally just down to three more. I'm so excited to get rid of those. Um, this is where we're at for lotions. Those are selling decent, I guess. Um, I need to pull the Vaseline out and make those a dollar. I didn't do that, but we've sold some of those sold some deodorants and body sprays we've sold quite a bit of the Olay but nobody's buying the Dove which is surprising to me I thought that would you know fly off the shelf but it didn't I sold all of the soft soap all of the dial haven't really sold too many of the men's except for the Irish spring that did sell we're almost out of Irish spring I've sold a ton of shampoo which I'm really surprised about because I've seen other couponers posting stockpile videos and they were complaining because they couldn't seem to sell their shampoo, but I've sold a ton. And I don't know if it's just because I have it for a dollar or what, but those are kind of flying off the shelf. Um, I did end up marking these for two along with the OGX. Then laundry. So this also surprised me because... I thought these would be gone in the, in the first few hours, but I still have, what? You've made about 500. Okay. Um, I still have a ton of pods. I think I'm going to have to lower my price on this. I've sold quite a bit of the liquid. I sold all my softener though. Still have some scent shakes. Um, sold most of the household supplies. I've sold yeah. some razors. Might have to go down a little bit in price on these. Maybe I'll put these at three instead of four. I only have one of these left, so those sold pretty well. I sold almost all of the bigger mouthwashes, a lot of the shaving cream. Um, I need to put more hand soap out here because I have more to add. And I have added some things to this, so there was a little more that I put out here after I filmed the clip this morning. I've sold some makeup, mostly just like the mascaras that I had on top earlier, but I still have quite a bit left. Oh my goodness, I sold so many of the wipes. Those did really well. I had those for a dollar. I sold a couple of the $5 skincare. Clothes haven't really been selling well. Somebody did buy a box or a pack of diapers. I still have quite a bit of toothpaste left. And that's pretty much it for the stockpile stuff. 
Babe, what time is it? 321. Okay, it is 321. We've had a few more customers come in, and I think I hear another one. <laughs> Sold a little more toothpaste. I'm almost out of makeup wipes. Sold a lot more makeup. I added a few more hand soaps in here. I didn't have any Dove this morning out here. Added a couple more Nivea. Still not doing too hot on the laundry. I'm almost out of shampoo. I sold a lot of the Love Beauty Planet. Sold a couple Dove. Um, and that's pretty much it. I've made around 600-ish, I think, so far. I'll have to add it up. Okay, it's almost 6 o'clock, so we're probably going to be closing up soon. I am officially out of all of my pads and liners, so they're gone. I'm so excited. Still have the two packs of Loves. Those did not sell. I'm almost out of toothpaste. I'm impressed. Those sold really well. Completely out of makeup wipes. I sold a lot of makeup today. I think it's because I had them marked for 50 cents each, which is really cheap, but like, I mean, we get this stuff for free, so I just wanted it gone. I sold quite a bit of the skincare. Um... Still have some hand soaps left, but I did put more out. I added the Suave and Safeguard that I did not have out this morning. Sold all the shaving cream except for these cheapy Gillettes. For some reason, nobody wants the Colgate mouthwash, but I sold all the rest. Sold quite a bit of razors. I only have four left in this tote. You're going to have to ignore the cicadas. Um, I have... Sold quite a bit in this one. Didn't really sell these that well, so I'll probably lower these down to $3 tomorrow because I have them marked at $4 today and they're just not really selling, so I'll probably make those cheaper. I have one box of dryer sheets left, two scent shakes. Everything else is cleared out. I have three awls and this mini pods. I don't know why these aren't selling. I'll probably make them cheaper tomorrow, but for some reason, people just are not grabbing them up. This is my shampoo. I have two Love Beauty Planet, one singular OGX shampoo, a couple stylers. Nobody's really buying the Dove Men body wash, but I sold all the Old Spice, most of the Axe. I have a couple degree. People finally started buying the Dove, so I only have two left. I have a few Nivea. Sold all the Olay still have some deodorant and then I sold some more lotions so I think my profit today so far is $8.50 is what I've made today so I'm pretty impressed with that I honestly didn't think I'd make that much um, and then I still have tomorrow to go so I think that's pretty good for the first day honestly I sold most of the stuff I had okay it is day two it is what time is it nine o'clock 8.57. 8.57, so we're pretty much opening up now. Kind of reorganized the layout of how this is, um, because I just feel like the tables yesterday were too far from the road. So we kind of put everything closer to the road so people can see better. And I put my laundry products out further, because I feel like people were just driving by yesterday and they didn't even see these, so maybe these will sell better. Um, so we have all of our laundry stuff here, mostly just pods. Still have them for three dollars right now, but I'm probably gonna lower them to two at some point today, or maybe two fifty. Maybe we'll do like a two for five. Try to get rid of those. I put out a few more liquid. Um, I really don't have much more to put out though, because I'm only keeping a few of each thing for myself. So I have three of the big tides left in my stockpile. I think I have four of the small games and three of the big ones, and then I probably have like six small Tide liquids. Um, I don't really want to get rid of much more than that, but I put out a few more so we can sell these. Um, so these will be three. The big one will be six. These sold well yesterday, so six dollars is a good price for these. I have a couple of these left for two dollars. One box of dryer sheets for two dollars. The all is two dollars. I have, I put out a couple more of these because we were out of these. These will be a dollar. I have a few of these left for 50 cents. Here's all my hand soap. These are going to be a dollar. I didn't really change any of the prices on the skincare um, because I feel like they did well yesterday, so we'll see if they do well today. Makeup. This is all I got left. It's just 50 cents each. 
Here's the only mouthwash I have left because nobody seems to want the Colgate. These are just a dollar. I only have a few toothpaste left. They are a dollar. I put out some new baby stuff. I didn't have this out yesterday, but I added it. So we have some CeraVe baby cream for $2, some Volmex, a um, dollar each on the Johnsons, and I have these two packs of diapers left. Then I added these for 25 cents. I had gotten these on clearance a while ago, and we just haven't really used them. I marked down my razors a little bit, so these are the non-disposables. They were four yesterday, but today they're going to be three, because they just didn't sell well. I marked down the disposables to $1.50. Um, they sold pretty decently at $2 yesterday, but I thought I'd mark them down just a little bit. Um, I found a few more shampoos, because we were like completely out yesterday. Um, so those would be a dollar. I put out the Shea Moisture Body Wash for $3. Didn't have that out yesterday. And I have a couple more Love Beauty Planet for $2. I marked down the Dove Men's Body Wash because nobody was buying it yesterday. I think maybe one person bought one for $3, so I just put them to 2 Axe is still going to be at 2 Degree for a dollar. have a few more Nivea for $3. A few more lotions for $2, and then I put a dollar on the Vaseline. I brought these tubs out today of like body creams um, and some deodorants. I'm keeping the sprays at $2 because I feel like that's fair. But all the other deodorant is going to be $1.50. I'll probably just put a dollar on the shirt. Um, but that is pretty much it. That's all we got left today. So we'll see how we do. Okay, we're about an hour and a half in. It's 10.30 now. As you can see, uh, sold all the pods and I didn't even lower the price. But when people were asking how much they were, I said they were three each or two for five. So they bought those out. I just have one little game left. Um, still have quite a bit of this left. I think I sold one of the Olay skincare for five dollars and a few things of makeup. Still have like all my mouthwash, uh, all my toothpaste. I did sell the diapers and some of the... Johnson's. Still have quite a few razors. I sold a few of the disposable. I sold some of the hair care, a few of the Dove Men, so those are finally selling. What else did I sell? Sold a Vaseline, a few Eucerin. Honestly, I don't think we're gonna stay open the whole day today because things are looking pretty bare, but... Okay, it's almost 12 o'clock. And I think we're going to close up now because this is literally all that I have left from my stockpile stuff. So within the last hour or so, we just started telling people everything was half off. And then I ended up just marking everything half off because I really want to get rid of it. And people were just like not really buying a whole lot. So I'm just like half off and they started like filling up bags. So now I'm down to four mouthwashes. I finally got rid of some of these. Sold all the toothpaste, except I still have one of these toothbrushes left. Still have a ton of razors left. These really just did not do well, but I sold all the disposables. Still have quite a bit of makeup left, but really I sold a lot because that was filled up a lot more than it is. I have one Shea Moisture left, two Vaseline left, so I sold all the Dove Men body wash, all the Nivea, all the other lotions. They're gone. <laughs> Still have these left that I just added a little bit ago. have a couple hand soaps left and like four skincare items left, so everything else sold. My total that I made today is around, it's close to 200 and then yesterday I made like 870 so I've made over $1,000, which I think is pretty good. Okay, we are done with the yard sale now. We got it all put up. Um, we I think we closed around like 12 o'clock, so we were only open for three hours today. Yesterday we were there until 6, so 9 to 6 yesterday and then three hours today. And then we actually took the rest of the day today and went out yard sailing ourselves um, because you can get some like really nice stuff for super cheap at yard sales. So we went out and did that. It was a lot of fun. Now the total for our yard sale for the two days that we were open, one and a half days that we were open, I made around $1,070, which I'm completely shocked by. I figured I'd make like maybe 500 Nope, I doubled that, so I'm really shocked. It's crazy how much those like little $1 items add up. I'm gonna show you what my stockpile looks like now. It is looking very bare. Okay, so this is what we are looking like. I haven't put the top drawers back yet in that thing, but we pretty much sold everything that was in there, except for some of the makeup, which I'll probably just give away. Um, so we just have some things left in this bottom drawer, which I didn't even really put out in the sale. And I'm realizing now that I could have, 
like the skincare stuff and the uh, ready tabs I could have put out there but oh well so pretty much most of the stuff out of that drawer gone got rid of a lot of stuff in the cube shelf as well I did not get rid of the Bath and Body Works because that's for me and I just got these pumpkin candles that I am obsessed with anyways and <laughs> didn't get rid of that got rid of all of the feminine care that was in this cube got rid of most of the skincare. If you guys saw my stockpile tour video, then you saw how full that cube was, and now we're just down to the products that I use, and then I have a bulldog for my husband. In this cube, we got rid of everything but the cotton balls. There was like a bunch of creams in here. Those are gone. You can see the bottom of that. <laughs> in this one, we got rid of all of the Shea Moisture and the Johnson, so we're just down to the Dove Body Love. Got rid of all my Renewsit cones in this cube, so most of the stuff in this is gone. Then moving on to the shelves. Let me back up here so you guys can see all of it. It's kind of hard to show it in this small room, but I condensed everything down to just these two shelves right here. So this shelf over here is completely empty. So I kept all of my paper products. I didn't sell any of that because those are kind of harder to coupon for and we can always use paper products. I kept probably about half of my liquid detergents because that's what we use. We don't use the pods or anything. Um, so I kept the Tide, Gain, and Persil. I only have one of the larger Persil, so I kept that and then several of the smaller one because this is like one of the best detergents. Now for the gain, I kept three of the bigger ones and four smaller ones. I kept seven, no, eight smaller tides and three larger ones. I feel like that's a good amount to have on hand for my family. Now for the softener, I kept pretty much all of the downy because that's my favorite, so I didn't really sell any of that. I did sell about half of the snuggle. I kept the super fresh scent and the scent shakes for it as well as the blue sparkle because that's the best smelling snuggle, hands down. For the dryer sheets, I kept the bounce and snuggle ones. I kept some of the Febreze. I didn't sell any of the fabric ones, but I did sell quite a bit of the air sprays. So that's what I have left there. Then I just put some paper towels down there because it was an empty shelf. Here's what we have left for the pegboard. I got rid of most of the razors. I just kept the Intuitions and one Venus for myself and then some of these Chic and Gillette for my husband as well as this one lonely Dollar Shave Club razor. I did not sell really any toothbrushes because I didn't have that many, so that's just what I got left of that. I gave most of those away to a local teacher who was doing like a hygiene program for her students, so that's where most of my toothbrushes and toothpaste went. Then here is the floss that we have left, plus one pack of toothbrushes. That should go up there. Um, so there's the floss. I got rid of most of the makeup except for those two mascaras and the lip balms that I like. Then we just have some beauty tools and I didn't sell the cough drops because I'm not sure if you're allowed to sell those. Not sure. <laughs> and then here's the oil warmers and Febreze car things that I have left. Just kept the scents that I actually like myself. So that's what we got left on the pegboard. Then on this shelf, we have cleaning products on the top, which I kept most of these, except I did sell off some of the dish soap that I had. But I mean, we use cleaning products. We don't coupon as much for it, so I kept most of that. Got rid of a lot of shampoo, though. <laughs> We're down to just this for shampoo and body wash. If you guys watched my stockpile tour video that I posted a few months back, my shampoo and body wash literally took up all three of these shelves and now we're down to just one. So huge downsize there. So I just kept the Shea Moisture, some of the Herbal Essences, the Nexus that I really like. I also really like this Tresemme. Um, I kept the Head and Shoulders because my husband uses that. And then I kept a lot of the dry shampoo and some of the stylers. Kept a couple of the Bulldog for my husband as well as his Irish Spring that he likes. We have a few of the Dove Men body wash and the Suave kids back here kept a lot of the dove obviously because that's my favorite and a few of the olay as well and then we just have a lonely little sunscreen back there for the toothpaste this is shocking especially if you saw my sock paw tour before because i had so much of it but now we're just down to this literally eight tubes for adults and then I have a few back here for the kids as well i don't remember the last time i had this small of a toothpaste stockpile like, this is nuts, but honestly, it feels good, and I really don't feel like we need any more than that. This is what we have for the mouthwash right here, just one row, which is a huge downsize. I also kept some of the, um, like, shaving creams for my husband, just one bulldog, a couple dollar shave club, and then a few Gillettes back there. Then this is what we have left for deodorant. 
just the dove and degree for myself there's some dry sprays back there then for my husband he has a few old spice that he likes that's his favorite then a few gillette and um the speed stick back there as well as some of the degree dry sprays that are hiding back here then for the hand soap i really like the soft soap lavender as well as the dove so i just kept those and then some of these smaller soft soaps I also kept the Dial Foaming and some hand sanitizer back there. And then for the lotion, I just kept Jergens because that's my favorite, so got rid of the rest. Then down here, you'll have to excuse the, like, wetness on the shelves. That was from the mouthwash. That's one reason why I don't like these shelves as much, because once they get wet, it just soaks in and you cannot get it off. Like, it doesn't dry. So I mistakenly put those mouthwash bottles down there and I didn't realize the bottoms were wet. So it just like kind of stained it. So that's frustrating. But on this shelf down here, I just have some of the feminine care. That's literally all I have left. Like what the heck? That is a huge downsize. I'm very happy with it. And I will definitely be ordering some different shelves. I already have some in mind that I'm going to order that I feel like is going to just look so cute in here. So I can't wait to get those ordered and get everything switched over. So that is it. I'm really excited to get the new shelves and kind of put everything together the way I want it. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments um, what you think, if you've had a stockpile sale before, how it went for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out.